dedicated to provide extra services for those little luxuries in life. Brightwater The Cove is due to be completed in August 2005 and is now taking admission inquiries. For further information, call Brightwater on 1800 005 009. Child safety, it's no accident. Electricity makes our lives easier, but it's also dangerous. In the past five years, around 30 children, most under five, have died from electrocution. Make your house kids safe. Kids safe, a GWN community service partner. Take the biggest stars of Australian comedy. Peter Moon. <laughs> Mark Downey, nice to Michael Beach. Mix them with the freshest new faces. Then let them loose live on national TV. Your favourite shows like you've never seen them. Oh, a different game host every week. Get ready to let loose live Sunday, GWN. I don't care if the damn grid is clear. Someone might have been in the bathroom. We're doing the best we can. I mean, considering it's only been a day, I think we've done a yes, great job. Yes, you've done an excellent job, and I'll be sure to give you all a gold star and a cookie when this is over. But right now, we have one man unaccounted for, Charles Rutledge. One man! So find him. How'd she take it? Considering the dying man she's been talking to all this time has been lying to us, she took it okay. She asked for an owl before we feed the ID to Barker. I gave it to her. You gave it to her? That's right, I gave it to her. It's very nice of you. Would you repeat that, please? I think you heard me. You have something to say to me? Say it. Right here, right now. I think you gave Jordan an hour so you'd have time to leak it to the media. You know what? You're right. So what? You disobeyed a direct order just so you could get your TV time. That's what I'm TV talking about. TV time? I'm not running for president. I am a medical examiner. And, I'm and a if chief you think medical I'm always examiner, gonna check with you, you listen before to me. you don't know you... the first thing about being chief. Who the hell are you to judge me, huh? That like you haven't judged me from the first moment I got here. You are a pompous, paranoid, conceited. We well, are a bitch. Great. Didn't that feel good? But what are you looking at? Didn't you hear the chief? Go find Charles Rutledge. Go! My wife. She is the luckiest person. She, uh, she survived breast cancer twice. And our baby. The fertility doctors told us that our chances were one in a million. But here she is. One in a million. And, uh, last year, she was supposed to fly to L.A. to meet with a client, and her car broke down on the way to Logan. She was booked on Flight 175. That was the one that hit the South Tower. She missed the plane. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry. I... Yes, I'm fine. I'm...
premiering Tuesday, 7.30. Boo. Come behind the scenes with Australia's biggest stars. Never mind. As they trip, goof, fluff and blunder their way through never-before-seen Aussie bloopers. Stuff they never wanted you to see. All-time greatest Aussie bloopers. Premieres Tuesday, 7.30 on GWN. Are you sure no one will see us? The blinds are down. Now let's get into position. And... One, one, two, three. three. Oops. <laughs> and again. One, one two, two, three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Try this. One, three, one, LPG. One, three, one, LPG. You're dancing. It's easy. One, three, one, LPG. Ordering your household gas is just as easy. Call BOC Handy Gas on 131 LPG. At Bunbury Centre Point, it's shopping in the city. Head straight to the point for a chance to check out what's in fashion this winter. Don't miss Centrepoint's fashion parades, showcasing the latest colours and styles for winter from the 26th to the 28th of May, 11am daily, plus 6.30 Thursday night. Shopping in the city at Bunbury Centrepoint. My place is freedom. My place is warmth. My place is home. Lighthouse Realty Southwest. Let us help find your place. You want local quality professional roof repairs and painting, then call Andav. Over 10 years of painting experience, the team at Andav can do anything when it comes to roofs. Andav also install and service quality roller shutters. Andav, local quality and professional service guaranteed. Going to Perth? Stay at award-winning Seville Park Suites in a luxurious suite with spacious lounge and kitchen from just $160 per night or within walking distance of the city. Call now, receive wine and chocolates on arrival, and kids under 15 stay free. like a dog with a bone, Hoyt. I'm sorry if I overstepped. You did your job. This kid didn't feel right from the get-go. You just showed me what I already knew. Guess we gotta cut him loose. Uh, do you, uh, mind if I watch? Watch what? You got him off, you let him go. Don't thank me. Just send a card. You were just there to renew your visa. The last time I went, I waited all day and got nothing. I assumed it might be wise to show up early. On behalf of the FBI and the Boston PD, I'd like to apologize for any inconvenience you may have caused. Thank you. Yesterday, you were parked next door to the building. A florist van pulled up next to you. You spoke to the driver and then drove off. He told me it was a holiday, that the immigration offices were closed. He said I should go home. Come back tomorrow. He was a nice man. How you doing? Doesn't hurt anymore. That's good. Why aren't you holding my hand? They found John Morrissey. No one was supposed to be here. Whitney Gore. They made your little girl sick, so you sued them. And they hired lawyers, didn't they? They hired the lawyers on the second floor. No, we hired them. 
They told us not to accept the uh, medical care to hold out. They were going to get us a huge settlement, and um, we said hang in there. And uh, except the lawyers didn't hang in there. They uh, called me one day and they said uh, that they were going to cut their losses and they left my little girls to die. Your wife? Oh, I used to stand in the doorway of the girls' rooms and listen to her sing sweet and low to them. And when she didn't have anybody to sing to anymore, she didn't want to live anymore, and she didn't leave me a note. Why? Why did she leave me a note? I... I didn't want anybody to get hurt. They weren't supposed to be here that early. You tried to save them? When you realized they were here, you told the guard. His name tag said John Morrissey. <laughs> he died for them. He died for those bastards. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sweet and low. Sweet and You okay? Just one left, just Charles Rutledge. You removed and ID'd almost all of them in under two days, Garrett. You are very good at what you do. Thank you, Elaine. Go home, get some sleep. We'll find Mr. Rutledge tomorrow. You're in charge. Don't screw up. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Are you a doctor? There's a paramedic station set up right around the corner. What? What did you say? I'm sorry, I can't hear too well. It's, it's just that I think I might have a small cut. I think I might need stitches. All right, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. Thank you, thank you, sir. It's on my back. Just sit down. Sit down right here and take it easy. Yes, yeah, Macy, I need some EMTs at the east end of the site right now. I was just sitting in my office. Just sitting there. Then I was in a dumpster. I think I fell on some bottles. Is the firm okay? Did something happen? I think something happened. We're gonna take care of you, Mr. Rutledge. Please, call me Charles. It's gonna be all right, Charles.
tonight, three bachelors. I'm a very competitive guy, and I'm here to win. And one girl. It all begins now. We'll spend a weekend together with her parents. You're gay, you're an abusive son, and I'm a crossdresser. All right. Who will take their daughter to Hawaii? Mom and dad decide. But first, they'll put these boys to the test. Men plus splits oh. equals groin pull. <laughs> Leading to the greatest test of all. Are you gay? The lie detector. I'm Hawk. Nice. And I'm 21 years old. My strategy is simple. I need to make the other two guys look like they're complete idiots. Hello there. Hi, how are you? You must be Janelle's father. Yeah, I'm Bruce. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Hawk. Hi, Hawk. How are you? Come on in. Thank you. You have a lovely home. Oh, thanks. My first impression of Hawk was, you know, good looking guy, seemed very pleasant and, and natural. Hello, everyone. Hey there. How are you doing? You must be Janelle's mother. I am, but it's a I'm pleasure really your to meet sister. You're supposed to say sister. Oh, screw up number one. Sit down. Just sit down here. So, are you like a surfer dude or something? Actually, I am a uh, I'm a professional wrestler. You uh, are. Janelle seemed to be really impressed. I mean, it's not every day they get to meet a professional wrestler. Most important question. All right. Niner fan. I absolutely love the San Francisco 49ers. I, and that's not, I love them back when they had Joe Montana. <laughs> High five. The boys better be 49er fans because my daughter cheers for them professionally. I'm Janelle. I'm 22 years old. The type of guy that I tend to usually go for is someone who's energetic, athletic. Um, I like someone I feel I can feel protected with. Janelle, being a professional cheerleader, obviously is in a very high profile position. I mean, she's, when she's performing, she's on. She's entertaining the crowd. That's her, her job. Outside of the uniform and outside of the game, um, she just is a vivacious uh, person anyway in terms of her, her personality. I'm Robert, I'm 25, and I'm a Pilates instructor. My strategy is basically be the friends of the guys, get them to open up, and then use it against them. Hi, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Robert. Hi, Robert. I'm Bruce. Come on in. This is Robert. You've Hi, met everyone. Janelle. Hey, Robert. How you doing? It's nice to meet you. Oh, we hug. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. It's this is, this is Hawk. Nice to meet is you. Is that your real name, Hawk? It really is. <laughs> I'm going to get that a lot in the next few days, I'm sure. <laughs> I felt like he was really held back, almost like there was a chip on his shoulder that I picked up on right away. My name is Dylan, I'm 22 years old, and I'm a recent graduate from the University of Washington. My strategy basically is made up of a little bit of Eddie Haskell, a little bit of dorkiness, a little bit of quiet guy with a lot of charm. Hi, Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Dylan. Dylan, I'm Bruce. Bruce, pleasure to meet Come you. Come on in. Wow, came uh, flowers in hand. And I brought a little something for you as well. So oh, well, thank you. Oh, I, I think the, the planning that went into that was impressive. He clearly thought about it ahead of time. And I give him a lot of credit for that. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Dylan. Dylan. Nice oh, to meet you. Give me a hug. Oh, I will. Okay. Nice to meet you, Denise. Hi. Hey, Janelle. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. I brought you some flowers. Thank you. Dylan Welcome. came uh, bearing and gifts. Some champagne here. For you. Oh, wow. My first reaction of Dylan was, oh, what a cute boy. He just gives you that feeling. And he's got a great smile, is very inviting. He came bearing gifts. What's wrong with you two guys? <laughs> gotta, make up for, <laughs> gotta make up for it with personality. He yeah. just needs to suck up, I think. Yeah. I think he's going that route. Dylan comes in as a big suck up. He comes in with the champagne, the cigars, and I think it's just a cover up. Now. Good stuff. What team? Football. 49ers. Oh, my. Oh, Come on. Okay. Are you kidding? After we got settled, the parents called us into the living room for a little session of Q&A. What do you like to do? I love kayaking, rollerblading, rock climbing. How close are you with your parents? Very close, very close. I, my mom is, 
is the world to me. She's that bright, shining star in my life, and I just want to make her proud. Where did you say you lived again? Uh, I was just basically born and raised in Riverside. And then around 21, I actually was thrown out of the house. My mom was freaking out because I was never home. I was working. I was working all the time to where she would never see me. And then I came home one day, and everything was packed up and gone. Your she said, mother threw you out? Yeah, I wasn't sure what to think of Robert's explanation, but I sure would like to hear his mother's side of the story. Hold on. Someone's at the door. As soon as I heard that doorbell ring, I, I just, I knew that, you know, that it was not the pizza man. Hi. Hi. Mr. Madeline? Yes. I have a package for you. Okay, this is really going to get interesting now. I just got delivered this little envelope. It says, uh, dirty little secrets on it. Do we have dirt or what? Pac, what could possibly make you hate bicyclists so much that you intentionally swerve your car into them? Oh, brutal. Causing them to crash into parked cars for your amusement. What's that about? Um, I, I can't say that I've ever ran a bicyclist off the road. I, I won't lie, I won't say that I haven't thought about it, but I've never, uh, never dared, you know, run somebody off the road. Hawk's dirty little secret. It could be pretty trivial, you know, immature, hot dogging, or do we have a temper problem here? Well, this is interesting. D Dylan, why did you pose for pictures in a gay men's clothing catalog wearing nothing but a sparkling pair of spandex underwear? What? Wow. Gay men's clothing catalog? I'm international uh, male is not gay men's clothing. Oh, have you heard yes, of international it is. male? Yes, it is. I would assume anybody in a magazine yeah. that's a gay magazine is it's not gay. a gay magazine, though. It's not like only for gay. So it's not a like, gay magazine. I mean, international you're not switch hitter or no. anything. Are, are you yet? kidding so... me? For mom to bring up the fact that that I'm a ooh switch hitter. I mean, I'm here courting your daughter. What would I be doing here if I was? And I'm not. So I said no. Drop it. Funny joke. Get over it. Robert. Why are there currently three different oh. women who believe they're in a monogamous sexual relationship with you? Whoa! Why are there? <laughs> I only know they? one word for that. It's called playa. Who are they? Well, that's Tell my question to you. So how many, how many women wrong. are you dating now? I'm dating no women right now. Have you ever cheated before, though? Once. Once. One of the worst things that one of these gentlemen can do to turn me off, I think, would be um, cheating. This, this has been really informative, and we'll talk a lot more, I'm sure, over the next few days. After the dirty little secrets, Robert was uh, not faring too well, playing three girls at the same time. And then, hey, let me, uh, let me try to date your daughter as well, sir. Yeah, that's, that's going to work. Going swimming was just the absolute perfect reason to get away from mom and dad. I mean, it just it had to get out. Seeing all three of those handsome men in swimsuits was a nice treat. They're all gorgeous. They all have great bodies. They're all athletic, and that's huge in my book. I think you should just come clean with me. That's it. That's all the dirt. That's it. Yeah. Clean. There's nothing yeah. Else. I like to drive over at bicycles, and you, you're basically a whore. That's what they say, I guess. Wow. And I graduated from college. Yeah. And he's gay. Dude, enough with the gay crap, dude. I just got called what? a whore. What's yeah. worse than a whore being gay? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being gay, but if you're not gay... And I'm a psychopath that runs over people on the road on bicycles. So yeah. just you know, roll with the punches and go with it. I'm going to use the restroom. I'm going to leave you all to like harass me while oh, I'm gone. All right, we're going to trash talk you. See so you guys plotting against each other yet? Come in. Good evening. Hey. hey, Hawk, what's up? I'm a little, I don't know how to put this. I'm a little uneasy about one of my roommates. Why? I found something, and it just, I mean, I, I'm not a nosy person, honestly. I, I just, something happened to be protruding out of uh, Dylan's uh, suitcase. What was in his suitcase? I, I don't want to tell. We were very concerned about what Hawk was talking about, so we decided to check it out for ourselves. A year ago, I got out of a relationship, and he's still my best friend. I feel hey, like I tell J him. Janelle, can you come here for a second? Yeah. We need to talk to the guys mm -hmm. here separately. I mean, we're going to... Wait a 
didn't want Janelle in the kitchen to have her put her basically in the middle of that. She doesn't need to see that. I'm not, I'm not having any experience with you. Hey, I It's in the hole. That's it. Oh. Kidding. That's a bogey, but a six beats an eight. <laughs> Good golfers. Champ. Thanks, mate. Mate, uh, on behalf of all the Manly fans, play well tomorrow night. The Swans may have bundled the Eagles out last time in the finals, but now it's payback time. It's our boys up against Sydney on our own turf, on our own terms. Live Saturday, 5.30. AFL Saturday. Save big bucks on this quality tyre and wheel alignment package from Bunbury Tyre and Exhaust right now. Four 15-inch quality Ultrax tyres with fitting, wheel balancing and computerised wheel alignment for just $399. That's a fantastic deal. High quality tyres with the latest wide tread design and high durability just $399, including computerised wheel alignment. You can't do better than that, but only at Bunbury Tyre and Exhaust on the corner of Blair Street and Sandridge Road, Bunbury. When you need power, Gentech. you need Gentech. Gentech Water Pumps, a leading name in pumping technology. Whether you're blasting grime, fighting fires, or just moving water from A to B, there's a product in the Gentech range to suit your needs. Gentech Water Pumps are built with three key words in mind. Quality, performance, reliability. But don't compromise your time or money. Trust Gentech. Pump power you can depend on. Absolutely. The beautifully built Honda Civic GLI comes with SRS airbags, ABS brakes, a CD player, alloy wheels, and a clever flat floor for more interior space. But what's even more appealing is that now the Civic GLI is under 20 grand. Hi, Carpet Court Jester here, conducting a bit of thermodynamic fusion to remind you about Carpet Court's new fusion carpets. And for a short time only, we're clearing overstocks of Godfrey Hurst fusion carpets. Flushes, sisals, loops, twists, everything must go. So don't miss the huge savings on fusion carpets. You won't find fusion anywhere else but Carpet Court. And remember, they can arrange interest-free finance. The Godfrey Hurst fusion overstock clearance for a short time only at Carpet Court. Monday, we're down to the final six and an apprentice like no other. Excellent! Excellent! It's not about who gets fired. This should have been a slam dunk. It's what happens after. Oh, God. The Apprentice follows Cold Case Monday. Great, That's on right. fire up there with the axe, he's killing him. Keep it going, young guru. Now, of course, we just mentioned we saw Beaver there uh, playing golf on his way to an eight there in the first at Monash, <laughs> and he takes on the Broncos side tomorrow night, the Seagulls, their first Friday night game for a long, long time. But uh, we'll see them in action on top of the comp, and it's going to be a fantastic match, boys. Some bad news for Brisbane today, too. They've had a couple of withdrawals on the back of the Brent Tate. Um, we've got Tony Carroll missing, and also Barry Berrigan won't play tomorrow night, and that yeah. is a huge boost to the visitors. Friday Night Football, if Manly beat the Broncos under the bright lights of Friday Night Football, they are the second best defensive team in the competition. This is the real deal for them. Yeah. It's a big asset. It's a big test, test for them. I mean, they've been, had a lot of success Sunday afternoons at Brookie, but of their last 24 night games, the Eagles have only won six. So they need to pick up, obviously, uh, tomorrow night. And they, they played very well last week, the Seagulls. They've got, a, as you said, a fantastic <laughs> record of Brookville. One thing that Manly are very good at, they've got a great pack of forwards. and That's, that's one area they're going to be well tested tomorrow night. They're intimidating, aren't they, now? Manly forwards are intimidating. They're preparing well for it. We know about the letter. There's been plenty of plenty of, plenty of reasons why Manly want to prove themselves this year as a top-line team. Intimidating, but more disciplined this year, Bill. They are more disciplined, that's a big thing. 
the confidence has risen, more discipline on the field, and the more they win, the better they're getting. Yeah. All right, some other games, of course, the Storm uh, take on the Sharks. The Melbourne Storm back to form last week with a massive win over the Raiders, and they take on the Sharks, who are also in great form. Yeah, it would have been... Uh, the Sharks would have been a little bit disappointed last week. They skipped away to a lead, and, uh, and the Broncos ran them down. They usually are a safe bet at home against the Bronx. Look, I'm leaning towards the Storm here. They were tremendous last week, and they're very, very hard to beat in Melbourne. Yeah, they, uh, Truthful, I think Melbourne are going to be there right at the end of the season. Just boys. quickly, Fatty, the Storm best attacking team in the competition, Sharks best defensive. Kamali versus Orford. It's going to be a good game. Yeah, that'll be a fantastic match. And of course, Matt King out wide for the Storms in great form oh, along with Billy yep. Slater. Absolutely. All right, the Cowboys at home to the Roosters. The Cowboys playing wonderful football. And by the way, there's a curtain raise here. The Mackay Women's Rugby League are playing in the curtain raiser. So good luck, girls. I'm not sure who you're playing, but best of luck to you. Bill, what about this one? This one will be a hard one. Cowboys and Roosters. I think the Cowboys were looking for a bit of a get square after last year mm. when they got pipped and there was that you know, controversy over the penalty at the end, or no penalty. And I reckon they'll be looking just to return the, uh, to return the punch and take out the Roosters. Yeah, it's hard to go past the Cowboys on their current form. They're playing some great football. Well, they're a top four side. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think that was the question at the beginning of the season. Could they use last year as a springboard this year? I think that they've definitely shown that. You know, they were always too good for Penrith last week and uh, had their measure early in the game. Roosters is a Bayou team, though, I've got to say. I think they've played 16 times. Only won the one game, so it's a good test for them. I see, I see uh, <laughs> Mark Guy wrote the Rugby League Week this week. That... <laughs> There's a cock in the ground, sorry. I saw Mark Guy write the Rugby League week that Brisbane versus North Queensland. I mean, that's a possibility for the grand final. That'll be interesting, boys. OK, well, that's our thoughts for on-field action. Let's find out what's happening around the world of Rugby League. Come in, Danny Widler. Yeah. G'day, Stella. Well, Danny, a couple of weeks back, some disappointment for the Gold Coast franchise, not allowed to use the Dolphin emblem, but a decision made today that is very, very promising for them. Terrific news today for the Gold Coast, Stella. They're going to have a ground. It's going to be paid for by the Queensland government. The land is going to be given to them by the Gold Coast Council. Now, what this in effect means is that they have cleared their final hurdle, and really this means the Gold Coast will be in the competition in 2007. So that's great news for the Gold Coast. Yeah, they'll be looking for some players there, obviously. And I guess one player in great form they might uh, cast their eye over is Braith Anasta. What about his future? Plenty of clubs are going to be chasing Braith and Astor, including the Gold Coast. But my mail is the Roosters are going to go pretty hard at Braith and Astor very, very soon. They haven't really filled Brad Fittler's boots very well so far. And Anasta's the target. Obviously, they're going to be competing with Rugby Union. Rugby, though, want Braith and Astor to approach them. OK, the Kessler fight is off. Anthony Mundine off to Auckland tomorrow night for the heavyweight title fight. You're very close to the man. What's doing there? Look, the Kessler fight is actually going to be delayed till early June. Anthony Mundine has talked about wanting to play for the Dragons and the Roosters. I caught up with Brad Fittler earlier to ask his opinion of Anthony. That's the problem with the Roosters at the moment. No-one's owning the 5A position and it's, it's come to be a crucial position. Anthony, someone who would come along, he wouldn't care less who played there before. He's a bloke who... Uh, get out there and do what he does, so I can't see that as being a problem. Any chance we may see Freddie coming back and trying to own that position again? No. Uh, you watch games on the weekend, you just send... Uh, the, you sort of... To catch 22, you'd love to be out there, but then you realise how much energy is to get to that intensity level, and I don't think I've got that in me. Would you like to maybe uh, give Anthony a few pointers if he does join the Roosters? You're on the coaching staff there. Well, I'm not sure if Anthony would listen that well, so... I might be wasting my time, but may whatever help he needed, I'm like I said, I'm part of the staff there, so I'll be glad to help. Yeah, good to see you back there. Personally, I don't think any club is going to touch Anthony Mundine for 10 or 12 matches. That's just my opinion. Anything else, Danny? David Peachy, he looks like he could be finishing up with the Sharks and heading overseas. He's had a terrific start to the season with the Sharks, but I think he'll play in England next year. And bad news today for the Bulldogs. 16 weeks, it looks like, on the sideline now for Marco O'Mealy. He just can't take a trick. Yeah, that's a blow on top of William Mason as well. Thanks, mate. We'll talk next Thanks, week. Right. See you Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> and there with all the gossip and all the news on rugby league clubs uh, around the world. Uh, he's a good man, Denny. All right. Of course, continuing on with round eight, the Warriors at home to the Panthers. And the Warriors, well, they're a patchy side. I mean, how could you pick this one? Well, I don't think... They're a good side off the bye, to be quite honest. A lot of big players there. I think they need their football every week. I think this is a tough one for them. Penrith were very disappointing, I thought, last week and be looking to hit back strongly. Ruben Wickie's back, Carl Tomata's yeah. back also, which will benefit them. 
All right, should be a pretty good game. Most of us tipping the Warriors there. Uh, the Knights at home to the Raiders. The yeah! Knights still winless, but they showed some improved form last week. Certainly too. did. Had the ability for the first time to show some fortitude and come back from behind. Both these teams suffering a lot of injuries. The Knights have still got 10 out, but Canberra for the first time got 11 out of their top 25. It's going to be very, very tough for them. It'll be a real dogfight. Another big crowd there. It's going to be a real, it's going to be a great game. I, tell, I like the Knights last week. They played fantastic. They were unlucky not to win the game. Danny Vadiris, I mean, the guy he's had so long out, he's just a machine. I, I think I, I think the Knights are a shoe in. They'll get this one. Ooh, I hope so. Right, it's very confident <laughs> for a team that hasn't won a game so far. And this will be a great game as well. The Bulldogs at home to the Eels. The Eels are back in form last week. I thought they'd win this. So the Bulldogs not very impressive in their win over the Knights last week. You watch that, boys. They were a bit ordinary, the Bulldogs. Yeah, they've been down a little bit. I tell you, Mr. Marco Milley for six straight. This is a right. really important game at the moment for the Bulldogs. Uh, it's hard to pick it. But I tell you what... I tell you what, boys, just talking about the uh, Bulldogs and uh, Eels game. Look at Eric up there. Two tries on the weekend, Eric. Mate, talk, mate, talk us through this. What's this? this. What, what was that? What is what? this? Oh, it's just a little joke we got at training. And um, I met this rapper. His name is Exhibit. And um, I just said to the boys, now that we're best mates, we do that to each other when we see each other. I was just carried on like a dickhead, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's... <laughs> and here he is, he goes out for the try. We're going to see it here, people. He gets up, look at the tattoos, just fantastic. Keeps going like that, you can do what you want, Guru. And he turns it, there it is. There it is. Dad approve of that, oh, does yeah. he? Does indeed. A brain snap. It looks like the old... No deal, does. doesn't it? Does. <laughs> All right, that's another station. No deal. All right. Um... <laughs> Of course, the men of the league just had a golf day and Kevin Walters, our great man up there in Queensland, caught up with some of the great legends of rugby league. Good evening all. Kevin Walters here at Royal Pines Golf Course. It's the men of league golf day, the Queensland group men of league golf day, raising some funds for ex-footballers who are in some difficult times. We've got some ex-players here, some legends of the game. We're going to try and catch up with a few of them soon, see what they've got to say about golf and the way footy's going at the moment. Joining me is Ron Coote. Ron, you're the chairman, I believe, of the Sydney franchise of the Men of League? Well, it's not a franchise, I'm chairman of the Men of League, which is just a, a, a group of guys got together to, to raise money for ex-football, old footballers, yeah. What's going on, mate? You coming in for a hit? Yeah, it's a great course. They come out to, uh, it's Ambrose, so that's good, so you don't have to count every stroke. I never do that anyway when I play, but it looks a good day, beautiful day in Queensland. And you're still looking pretty trim and terrific, although black is a, is a number that they say makes you look thin. Is that why yeah, you've got mate, the black on? Yeah, but I... Fat people leave their shirts out, Kevy, so I can still tuck one in at the moment. So, and I haven't had to go to buy new clothes yet, but it won't be too far around the corner. Good on you, Gordon. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy your yeah. day. Oh, he's hit me. Oh. He hits no, harder now than he ever does. Tom, you've Mate. been here, there, and every speaking engagements everywhere. Yeah, doing a bit of everything. G'day to the boys there, Fatty and the boys. <laughs> Tell me, mate. I sell, I sell toilet paper. <laughs> oh, I is that a shit job? It, it is. Uh, it is, uh, mate. I'm into everything. Hey, how's your golf swing, by the way? What mate, are you? Bloody hopeless. Bloody hopeless. Oh, so <laughs> change, mate. Manly, on top of the table, going okay. What do you mean going okay, mate? They'll win the comp. You think that? Desley Hazard's doing a good job, obviously. Very good job. Great coach, and I think I'll probably beat the Bronx by about 30. Hey, you're at the golf. Yeah, just in the golf, mate. What do you think we're doing here? You, you play golf, what, four or five times a week? Oh, a couple of times a week, mate. Not improving too much, but uh, hopefully it should be a good day today. Now, your golf, what's it like? Any good? Must be all this spare time you got on your hands. Um, no, nah, so actually, this is going to play havoc with my slice today. Instead of going one <laughs> fairway way. to the right, it's going to go two fairways, I think. And you're still enjoying your golf, which is good? Mate, I haven't had a game for a while. The last time I played was in Moon Bar with Josh Henney, so I didn't hit it too bad that day, but. Bobby Jones said, did you bring the swing today? Who would know? Mate, you on for a game of golf today? Well, mate, we'll, uh, we'll get plenty of golf balls coming our way. But, That'll be another uh, one I need. Yeah, mate. Yeah, no, looking forward to it. Pretty windy, mate. It's going to be tough. Now, listen, I've been here about an hour. I've been yeah. called Trevor Gilly four or five times already. Good looking bloke, aren't you? We both are, aren't we? <laughs> Reflections, style and sophistication. And now Russell Hobbs introduces the Reflections Kettle. The elegance of frosted glass and the quality and strength of stainless steel. With the stylish panini press and sleek minimalist toaster, the perfect kitchen is now complete. Make the ultimate statement in your kitchen with the Russell Hobbs Reflections Range. Designed to complement the way you live now. The Reflections Range from the Russell Hobbs Kitchen. Anything less is second best. Should you buy or sell first? Not sure on the process of buying or selling your property? Have these questions and more. Get the answers from First National Real Estate. 
Call 13 16 66 or visit our website. Buying a patio? Beat the heat this summer with Outdoor World's Cool Deck. It's cooler and you can feel the difference. Outdoor World have many exciting patio ideas that will improve your lifestyle and add value to your home. Outdoor World will plan and construct patios that will suit your individual needs. Architecturally designed, council approved, and are built with Blue Scope Lysart's Cunnabon Steel and carries a certificate of authenticity. Don't just ask for the Blue Scope Steel certificate, demand it. Outdoor World, number one in home improvements. We're with Dr. Penny Adams to find out how all people can benefit from probiotics. Regardless of age or lifestyle, probiotics replenish essential bacteria in our intestines and create an environment where good bacteria can multiply and thrive and bad bacteria die. Each bottle of your cord contains hundreds of millions of the Lactobacillus casei Schirota strain, making it an exceptional source of high quality probiotic bacteria. Groove. Groove. Fashion. Fashion. Retro. Retro. Dance. Dance. Experience club excitement, glitz and glamour. Exit Friday and Saturday nights. Bennett's Batteries, Oils and Filters supply all types of standard lead-acid batteries as well as ABI Calcium Calcium Maintenance-Free Batteries. Bennett's also stocks Sunoco Lubricants for automotive, agricultural and industrial applications and a huge range of Baldwin and Osaka filters. Our expert staff can help you find the best product for your application and delivery can be arranged throughout WA. So give Bennett's a call. Bennett's Batteries, Oils and Filters, Catalina Road, Albany. Well, look at their own time, people, and I'm joined by Billy Harrigan. Don't the ladies love Billy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? What was that? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay, look at their own $50,000 up for grabs, and this week the winner comes from Warren Glanville of Heckenberg, New South Wales, and features his son, Aidan. And Billy, just watch this young fella go. Look at Aidan's defence work, it's just outstanding. As we see here, he just makes the tackles, but watch this. Aiden picks up the ball after he tackles the opposition and runs straight for the try line. Here he goes. Look at that. Zip and I. Geez, a good young player. Got sneaks two in his back. It's like a young Eric Growth. He sneaks past four tacklers, scores the try. Outstanding. Here he goes. And here he is. He's charging through the other team and lands over for another great try. There he is. In again. Take he's it in over. again. How good is this hit now? Here he goes again. You think he's finished there? There's another try. Over he goes, Aiden. Well done. And look. Oh, people. It's not over yet. The full-time Hooters just about to go, and he pulls off a try-saving tackle. That's what it's all about. Well done, Aiden. And look, not surprising that Aiden's under-age team, St Mary's, actually won the grand final. So well done, boys, and this is what you can win. The weekly winners of League of Their Own will receive the ultimate in racing fun. A new-look PlayStation 2 console, a Logitech Steering Force Pro wheel, and Gran Turismo 4. It's sensational. It's the most realistic car racing game ever produced. Only available exclusively on PlayStation 2. And this year's League of Their Own winners will be pocketing an enormous $50,000 courtesy of our great mates at Crazy John's. You heard it right, 50,000 big ones. Thanks to Crazy John's. Great Telstra prices, guaranteed. $50,000 send your entry into League of Their Own, Lockbag 15, Willoughby, New South Wales, 206. Hey, what would you do 50 grand, Billy? Get a job. Get a job? Mm. Take up refereeing again, mate. That's yeah. what I do. I think you should. Mm. You know, you'll be the best referee. Sign on there. feed. Well, there you go. Well, OK, people, you know what it's time for? Have a guess. There, no talent time. Gold. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to that time of the night where no longer is talent enough, where we try to find that undiscovered gem. Yes, it's time for the footy show's No Talent Time Gold. Hosted by our own nugget of gold. Take it away, fat man. Thanks, Bart. Thanks, Rebby. All right, we've got some great acts for you tonight. Of course, at the end of the year, some one of these great acts is going to run away with this magnificent prize. It's a Mitsubishi uh, Fuso truck, and uh, they can't wait to win that. 
There's some great acts happening tonight. Of course, Bill Harrigan, guest judge. Billy, you're everywhere. Yeah. All right, we've got two little boys out the back. They're 13 and 11. They're about to do an ACDC classic. Right. Long way to the top. Please make them welcome on the guitar, Nicholas and James. Yeah. <laughs> Riding down a highway, going to a show, stop here. Those guys, I thought it was Malcolm and Angus Young. You were that good. Well done, boys. Sneak? Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to live next door to you guys, but if you're looking for a manager, I'm available. There's a 10. <laughs> Billy? Great work, four apiece. I'll give him an eight. It's an eight. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad, yeah. Are you two best mates or something? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're 11? Yeah, I'm 11. Yeah, okay, you're 14, okay. Yeah, yeah good, just need to check that out, guys. Uh, <laughs> you picked a classic song, you really couldn't lose, so I like that, that was great. Obviously, a bit of jamming in the bedroom, you, you, you got you together, <laughs> you're actually pretty good. There's, there's an eight, oh, mate. good stuff. <laughs> I'm all for young kids having role models, and I think Bon Scott's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good score. That's uh, 34. That's going to be pretty hard to beat. But in looking at our next act, I'm thinking that he's uh, a big chance because he is the rickshaw cowboy and his name is Timmy sw singing Sweet Home Cabramatta. Oh. Right, take this It looks like it sounds like a fun place uh, out there. <laughs> Sneaky? I did say that it was Jackie Chan when he walked out from there. <laughs> uh, look, we've had Akadaka, we've had Leonard Skinner, I'm having a good time tonight. Well, Jackie Chan, I grew up out at Canley Heights, three k's up from Cabramatta, and I love the place too, mate. All right. Yeah. Hey, Timmy, Timmy, do you live in Cabramatta? Um, Oh, is this the part where I say yes? But he wants yeah, to. Yeah, you should. Yes, yes, I, I No, do. you don't, mate. You're in froth and bubble, mate. There's a nine. Well done. I think that's what 
Fantastic. I like a bloke who can laugh at himself, just like Billy. <laughs> hey. There's the boys. Young fellas, you have to come. It looks like, Tim, you have won tonight. You have uh, a massive score. Boys, unlucky, but a uh, big hand for the boys anyway. Yeah. Timmy, you know what? Uh, there's every chance you'll come back later in the year and win a magnificent truck. I'm not sure how long the tyres will last out there, but <laughs> you could win this magnificent Mitsubishi Fuso truck thing. The winner of this year's No Talent Time Gold will drive away in a new Mitsubishi Fuso Panther camper van. It's so new, we've got to keep it under wraps until the middle of May. It's a secret, it's a mystery, but it's a canter, so you know it's the best. Thanks to our great mates at Mitsubishi Fuso. Yep, thanks to Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. And, uh, of course, if you'd like to be on No Talent Time Gold, please, uh, auditions are happening Wednesday, May the 11th, 6 till 8 p.m., right here in our Channel 9 studios at Willoughby. Please get on the website there and uh, come in and show us what you can do, what you can't do. So, thanks, boys. Thanks, Timmy. Thanks, boys. We'll take another break. Come back with more footy show in just a minute. Never meet anyone quite like ten-year-old Terry Vaux. Feel good, Danny. <laughs> Just so much courage. I didn't scream. I didn't cry. He lost both hands and a foot in a freak accident. If you look closely, the shoe is still on. Then a world first. I need a hop. I need a hop. You need a hop. The miracle surgery that made Terry whole again. Ow! And join the party. Come celebrate 50 years of TV. <laughs> Here's Daryl. 60 minutes Sunday on Weirden. Adventure Sports, get into the action. Adventure Sports, Pilbara's leading sports store. Adventure Sports, whatever you sport. Adventure Sports, get to it. Adventure Sports, great range and price. Adventure Sports, whatever you sport. Adventure Sports. Get to it. Adventure Sports. On Wednesday, May 4th, head to the flagpole at the impressive group of company superstore on Gibbons Road in Bunbury's Halifax, LIA. May 4th is an open day. You can look around the range of domestic and commercial steel and check out the thousands of product lines. Plus, see the Orcon Steel V8 supercar and meet racing legend Jason Bagwana. There'll be a V8 supercar replica on display, plus giveaways and more. All at the impressive group of companies open day. Be there Wednesday, May 4th. Meet the range of mulches from Mulches and Mowers. The easy way to recycle your garden rubbish. From the very versatile electric chipper that's fantastic for the smaller garden to the heavy duty and commercial grade models. These machines really get to work on branches, leaves, palms and newspapers. Rose pruning, manure and weeds easily get turned into beautiful mulch. The unique changeable screen system allows you to feed quickly without clogging. Remember, 79% of what you throw away can be turned into nutrient-rich, water-saving organic mulch. Thanks for joining us on the footy show. Uh, it's been a massive show tonight. It's had everything. It's been good fun. Good fun, I've got to say. Well, and if you haven't been invited to the Logies on Sunday, you'll probably be at home and you can watch the Sunday roast at 11 o'clock, oh, like Pete. I will be doing, because I'm not going to the Logies. 11 o'clock, the Sunday race, Mate, hosted by Vicey, uh, debating these right. controversial issues, and that's followed by the Sunday footy show at 11.30. Uh, join myself, Gus, Gibbsy, and the Chief will all be there. Matthew Head, a special feature on the halfback we had in tonight. On. And Boots and All. Uh, enormous ratings last week for Boots and All. Congratulations to Vossi and the 10-pin bowling this week. Vanganar up against El Masri. And of course, boys, Rugby League Week. Eric Groth on the cover. And, and Billy, I was reading the Rugby League Week. This Saturday, Rose Hill Races, the Men of League Relay Race. You're going to be in that? Got the big run, all the old legends. Peter Wynn, last year's winner. Um, Sean Gaelic. Who else we got out there? Mick Newton, Spud Carroll. Oh, Harry Oot. And How are you going, footy H? shows Mario Fennick. We're going to run down the main straight. 200 metres. 
great race. Should be oh. fantastic. Now, listen, guys, Save the Children Week is going to be held from May 1 to 7, and Skip a Treat is an integral part of that. Now, what the idea is, strange to forgo a regular luxury, instead of, say, maybe buying a uh, chocolate bar for $2, give that $2 to spend it or save the Children Week, and it'll cover the, uh, the cost of six exercise books for children in Laos. So find out how to make a difference. So skip a treat, call 1-800-76-8811 or visit the website. It's a great course, Save the Children Week. Thanks, Chief. Couple of things to do before we say goodbye. Uh, next week's show is a Mother's Day special. Of course, we will love our mums and uh, they're all very special people. A special treat next week for Mother's Day. Uh, I want to say happy birthday to Donnie McKinnon, the former great Norse player. Happy Morning, 50th Donnie. tomorrow. And well done, Donnie. Great play. And there's a bloke who's leaving the show tonight. He's one of our producers. He's been on the show for the last 10 years. And he's, a he's the man he's a who puts yeah. the show together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His name is uh, Andy O'Brien. He's heading off, mate. It's been a pleasure, Andy. And we'll be holding that logie up on Sunday. This is for you, yeah, Andy. Do it for Andy. Fun for Andy. As we leave here tonight, we've got some dead set, great rock and roll happening. Evermore are one of the greatest bands the world has ever seen. They are three brothers from New Zealand. They're 17, 19 and 21. Their album is still in the top 20. Uh, it's been there for about seven months. And tonight they're performing their current single, Wait Till You Hear This One. This is gold, Jerry, for one day. See you next week.
Big Brother, let me ask you. More people have applied than ever before. The housemates are different to any other year. There's a million dollars to be won. What are you going to make them do to earn it? You've got something planned, haven't you? Is it the house? Is it the tasks? Is it the housemates? Gretel, assume nothing, expect anything. If you're sick on our place, you can do it this weekend at your place. And coming up this week, how to be a super parent. Take a look at this. Super Nutty answers the questions we most want to know about parenting. Also, on our place, Miles' hedging sensation could buy nosy neighbours. Dr John Shaw Fire Cure for all your back pain. Up, up, up. Hey, Scotty up. saves your time and money around the house, plus Maggie's awesome dish. How good is that for everybody? Our place, Friday, 7.30. Can Inspiration make the versatile PT Cruiser even cooler? Yes. Can it give it more power, more torque, and a lot more sizzle? Yes. With the exciting new 2.4 liter PT Cruiser from 29990. Can Inspiration give the Voyager five star safety? It sure can, with front and side curtain airbags. Can it make a mountain of stuff disappear? With Voyager's stow and go seating and storage, yes. Chrysler, Inspiration comes standard. Welcome to Dodo. Dodo, I'm ready to move up to broadband internet, but I don't want to spend a fortune. Well, I'm your bag. My broadband internet plan with unlimited downloads is just nine dollars ninety a month for the first three months. Plus, call now for free setup options. Wow, unlimited broadband for just nine ninety a month for the first three months. And call now, and you'll get a free MP3 player when you connect. That'll save me heaps. <laughs> As the tread wears from a conventional tyre, it progressively loses grip until all you're left with is the ball tyre underneath. But with the all-new Bridgestone Taranza tyre, something amazing happens. As the tread wears, it reveals a second high grip layer. The result is a safer tyre that maintains its grip long after conventional tyres have lost theirs. New Taranza ER592 with AQ Donuts. Grip for life. That's me and my new notebook computer. I have to have one. I flexi-rented it so I could get the model I really needed. And I can update it when the next big thing comes along. Flexi-rent, I think it's fantastic. Look at this, my new computer, my new way of submitting proposals. I just add a few digital pictures from previous jobs to sell the dream and print out photo quality copies. Cool, eh? Yeah, of course, I flexi-rented it. More and more people are flexi-renting. With technology moving so fast, it makes sense. Ask anyone at your nearest Harvey Norman computer store. Is your hair too tired to party? Are those locks too weak to rock? Garnier Fructus, the first fortifying shampoo with active root concentrate from Garnier. It's proven. Enriched with multi-P vitamins, Garnier Fructus strengthens your hair deep down and makes it up to five times stronger. And so much shinier. Garnier Fructus, give your hair the strength to shine. New from Fantastic, Soho's Rice Snacks. With less than 10% fat, they taste naughty, but they're not.
Milo. Low GI and always has been. Nothing's tougher than Australia's number one selling workwear. Hard yakka. Listen up, people. What I want is a wide perimeter search of every back road, beach road, beach house, lighthouse, river whack, and sea shack. You're after two renegades. Jeep Cherokee Renegade and Jeep Wrangler Renegade. You will recognize Jeep Cherokee Renegade from these distinguishing features. Alloy wheels, six stacker CD, ABS, and cruise control. The Jeep Wrangler Renegade has hard top, soft top, no top. It has cruise control, alloys, and pay attention, a six-speed manual. Go on them down. I'm feeling much better now. Oh, I'm just fine. Jeez, how oh, I hate it.